Hi, I'm Adam from The Steels. Today we're going to learn a new Chris Tomlin song called Sovereign. Uh, before I teach you how to play the song, I'll quickly show you how it goes. I'm going to work through each part of the song. I'm going to show you how to play the uh, rhythm parts on the acoustic guitar and then we'll look at the lead parts on the electric guitar. For the song Sovereign we need to use a capo at the second fret. The rhythm for the verse and chorus is shown below. The down arrows represent down strokes on the beats and the up arrows represent up strokes on the off beats. The larger the arrow the more we accent that stroke. So here the rhythm's going down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. For the verse and the chorus, we need to know the following chords. G5. E minor 7. C at 9 and D. We play these chords in the order G5, E minor 7, then C at 9, and then back to E minor 7, and you finish on the D chord. And the pattern's the same for both the verse and the chorus. So it should sound like this. So starting on the G5 chord. Down to E minor 7, to C add 9, E minor 7, and D. We'll do it one more time, G5, E minor 7, C add 9, E minor 7, and finish on D. The rhythm for the bridge is shown below. Here we're simply playing down strokes on each of the beats, really simple. So it's going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. For the bridge, we need to know one more chord G5 slash B. We play these chords in the order G5 slash B to C add 9, and then E minor 7 to D. And we do that four times, so it should sound like this. So starting on G5 slash B, C at 9, E minor 7, and D. G5, 
C at night, E minus 7, D. The lead part in the intro of the song Sovereign sounds like this. Here to play this part we're not going to use a capo, we're going to start by making an Asus 2 shape with our 2nd and 3rd fingers and we're going to pick between the G and the D string, then between the B and the D string, um, between the B and the D string again but with an A shape so you've got to pop your little finger on, then you're going to go up to the top E string and back to the D, and you do that a couple more times. Start the last one the same, but then you're going to drop this first finger to the first fret of the G string and play the G and the D. The lead part in the second verse sounds like this. So for this part you need to have your capo at the 2nd uh, fret again and you're going to hold this shape here with your 3rd uh, finger at the 5th fret with respect to the capo of the D you've got the G string open and you've got your 1st finger at the 3rd fret of the B and you're going to pick up and down between these 3 strings do it on that shape 4 times then you're going to pop your little finger in at the 5th fret of the G as well, twice there, back to the original shape, and then you're going to drop from the 5th to the 4th on the uh, D string and do it once there. The least part over the chorus is really simple and sounds like this. Okay, this part's really simple, so for most of the chorus, you're just going to hold the 10th uh, fret of the B with your 2nd finger and the 9th fret of the G with your 1st finger. And just on the very last chord of the chorus, you're going to change to bar in both notes at the 9th fret. The lead part in the bridge goes like this. Okay, to play this part, you're going to hold the D shape at the 9th fret. Um, so you've got 1st finger, 9th fret G, 3rd finger, 10th fret B, and 2nd uh, finger, 9th fret top E string. You're starting by picking G to B to G. Then you're going to bring your little finger in to make a D sus4 shape, so at the 10th fret of the E, pick that one, come off to the 9th fret, and then back to the B string. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to play Chris Tomlin's new song, Sovereign. And don't forget, there's loads more videos like this and free worship songs at worshipcorner.com. Thanks for watching.